top of the hour. Unbelievable. Uh, the tensions beginning to mount, uh, would you say, in the capital of Madison, Wisconsin, uh, as one Republican lawmaker in particular, his name is State Senator Glenn Grothman, just tried to find his way into a building. Right. There's an angry mob on the outside, and I guess he's getting restless, restless, and uh, dare I say, violent. Well. He says he could have, if things would have really gotten bad, he could have fought his way through. But, you know, this is what it has devolved into in Madison. He's Wisconsin. trying to go to work. He's exactly right. And what are they, the pro-union people are yelling, shame, shame, shame. And when you listen to them beating the drum, this is a 12-minute uh, clip. I, I watched it all on YouTube. It, it's absolutely scary. It, it, you put yourself in his shoes and you think about yourself walking through and those people, hundreds of them. You think, wait a minute, what have I gotten myself into? There was bipartisanship because he was saved by a state Democrat who came to his aid and then ultimately firefighters uh, did come in and help him get into the building but you know what uh, Grossman's not alone listen to this other Wisconsin representative who was on O'Reilly last night we had been on the floor for about 57 or 58 hours straight mind you and uh, we had just taken a procedural vote the Democrats all started screaming and yelling at the moment and uh, I sit in the back row behind all of the Democrats and uh, Gordon Hintz was walking back and just happened to walk and look at me and point direct me at, at me and say exactly what you said. And at the same time, we had drums banging outside the door. Uh, we had protesters chanting and screaming outside in the hallway at that time. So uh, it, 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 it was frightening it, uh, sitting in that room. It was a little bit scary. Oh, yes, um, I, I, where's security? I mean, you got to you got to set up a wall of security. We see this every single day, wherever you go, right. whether it's uh, uh, whether it's coming to work here. There, there's a security path wherever you go. In a situation like that, there should be one thing for lawmakers to pull up and get out. Sure. You want to chant that? Number one, isn't it ironic that people are being chanted? The people that are going to work and showing up every day are being harassed, right. while <laughs> the people that don't show up and sit in Illinois right. having a, having the all-you-can-eat breakfast at the Best Western, <laughs> they're the ones who sit there in peace and tranquility. Right. That's an interesting and what, point. And what she was referring to was uh, apparently the, the person had s pointed at her and said, you're then a word that starts with an F, dead. He did uh, apologize, we should point out. But when you look at that and all the incivility there, you realize that the, to these people, elections have no consequence, mean nothing. Keep in mind, in that state, the governor ran on the platform that he was going to address collective bargaining and all the other stuff, and that's what he did, and yet, look what's happening there right now. Okay, in the meantime, a Wisconsin State Senator Glenn Grothman, the guy that we showed you in that video just trying to go to work, he's going to join us live at 7.50 a.m. right here on the show. You don't want to miss that. Mm -hmm. So now there's another plan that's uh, come up to try and get these Democrats from the state of Wisconsin in the Senate to come home from Illinois. <laughs> um, they tried to, to put votes on the table that they might be concerned about. Right. Brochures uh, they, they, underneath their doors at the hotel. They tried to, to mm -hmm. send out state troopers to their homes to see if they were actually there. Knock, knock. Um, well, now they're going to find them. There's, there's uh, some sort of an obscure law that they're able to now they just invoke. Passed. Uh, with $100 a day, they'll be fined until they return. Well, it passed one little part of it. They have to have a second vote now tomorrow to make it official. So then it would start, I, I believe, tomorrow or Saturday or Monday. Right. If they don't show up, $100 a day. Keep in mind, a lot of these state senators, are, they claim they're paying for this hotel and their expenses out of their own money. Right. This might do it to get them home. Now, well, they don't get direct deposit anymore, so they're not getting paychecks. They have to pick it up in person. Their staffs are not allowed to use the copy machines, <laughs> and now they're getting a $100 a, a, a day fine. Right. Little by little, they'll balance the budget on that. If you don't pay your 14 state, uh, state senators, and you fine them 100 bucks. But you're leaving.